Prince's Quest, Family Bonds and Kingdom's Peace In a kingdom not so far away, a young prince with brown hair and eyes filled with determination stood at the edge of the castle grounds. His father, the king, lay dying, and before he closed his eyes, he bequeathed a quest to his son. The dying king's words echoed in the prince's ears as he clutched a tattered map and a weathered compass. He was to seek out his long-lost siblings, scattered across the realm, and reunite them to claim the throne and restore peace to the kingdom. The prince, his brown hair fluttering in the wind, embarked on his journey in a horse-drawn carriage. The map and compass were his only guides as he ventured into the unknown, his heart heavy with the weight of his father's expectations and the hope of reuniting his family. After days of travel, the prince, his brown hair now tousled from the journey, found his first sibling in a bustling village. A sister with flowing blonde hair and a kind smile embraced him, her eyes moist with the tears of joy and reunion. Deep within a forest, the prince, his brown hair now a crown of resilience, was greeted by his red-haired brother. Their reunion was a moment of pure joy, a testament to the bond that had never been broken, despite the distance that had grown between them. In a sunlit meadow, the prince, his brown hair a beacon of his quest, was reunited with his twin sister, her black hair a mirror to his own. Their laughter rang through the air, a melody of homecoming and the shared history that only twins can know. With his siblings by his side, the prince, his brown hair a symbol of his journey, ascended the throne. Together, they ruled with wisdom and compassion, restoring peace to the kingdom and honoring their father's legacy. The young prince, his brown hair tousled from his journey, stood in the grand hall of the castle. He placed the map and compass on the table, his eyes reflecting the gravity of his quest. Looking out of the castle window, the prince saw the stormy sea before him. It was vast and tumultuous, a barrier to his next destination. Determined to overcome the sea's wrath, the prince set sail. The storm raged around him, but he stood firm, his resolve unwavering. As the storm peaked, a bolt of lightning struck the ship. The prince, his brown hair singed, was thrown to the ground, but he rose with a fierce resolve. In the eye of the hurricane, the prince saw a glimmer of hope. He knew that beyond the storm lay his next sibling, waiting to be found. As the storm began to subside, a rainbow arched across the sky. It was a sign of hope, a promise that the prince's journey would lead him to his sister. In the distance, the prince spotted a woman with long brown hair, standing on the shore. She was his sister, the one he had been searching for. With a wave from his sister, the prince felt a surge of relief and joy. Together, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead. The prince and his sister stepped onto the shore, greeted by the cheers of the villagers. They had arrived, and with them, the promise of a united family and a peaceful kingdom. In the grand hall, the prince and his siblings sat on thrones, their faces alight with joy. They were united, a family reborn, ready to rule with love and wisdom.